In this episode, we're on location. Quite the tasty assignment indeed. And apparently I've got something to prove in a strip mall parking lot. Hi, I'm Jen and I finally managed to get out of my house for a little me time. And by me time, I mean grocery shopping. I'm here at one of my favorite places in the Atlanta area, Zion Market, and they are teaming up with me for today's video. We're doing a little shopping. Welcome to the first location in Georgia. Gwinnett County has a bustling Korean community, and James and I are getting quite the kick out of exploring the Asian supermarket scene. Although I have to give him credit for discovering this gem. The produce section here alone is definitely worth coming here for. There's lots of really unique items and amazing prices. Fruit, vegetables, greens, sprouts, plus my favorite, mushrooms. You know I picked up some of those. Household goods, cookware, kitchen supplies. Every time I come here, I discover something new. If you're really new to the Asian cooking scene and you're not ready to try a recipe from scratch, this section is definitely for you. Lots of pre-made sauces. Make it easy on yourself. There is plenty of fresh meat and seafood to plan those delicious dinners. Why not try some bulgogi? Power tip here, stock up on staples. A 15 pound bag of rice for $10. And there are always sales on everyday ingredients like cooking oil, rice vinegar, and soy sauce. All right, we've reached a dangerous section of the store and you might be wondering, you know, why Jen? And it's because we're in the snack food aisle, which is always my worst downfall. So I like to come here sometimes, pick out stuff I've never tried before and then take it home and eat it. So many choices, not a big enough stomach. You can see why this is my favorite part, right? And for the over 21 crowd, don't worry, Zion Market has you covered with the adult beverage section. Back at my car, but we are still in the Zion Market parking lot. You know, I'm just kind of hanging out here like any normal person would do. And I made the mistake of grocery shopping while hungry, which you should like never do. So I thought I would take this opportunity to do sort of a mini haul for you guys and a taste test to try out some of the snacks I got. Now this first item, I have tried this before, but it's delicious. It's like this lemon lime soda. It's called Ramoon. It's carbonated, but it's got a really neat top. See, so whoa. There's actually a little glass ball in every single bottle. So it's pretty cool. Let me see if I can figure this thing out. So now I've taken this little plunger thingy totally off. All right, here we go. I did it. All right, so this pushed into the top and then see this little glass marble here? This is now in there and it's like permanently in there. I don't know how they got this to work. It's like really a light flavor. It's not super sugary. Only $1.49 and you get this really neat drink experience. Eat your heart out Starbucks. I like milkshakes, who doesn't? Let's try some chocolate shake candy. And I've noticed something about these Asian grocery stores, like everything is individually packaged very nicely. Um, I don't know if like they just like everything hermetically sealed, but it's just something I've noticed about these places. Here it is up close. It kind of looks like a Tootsie Roll. Man, this does taste like a chocolate shake. This is Milkita chocolate shake candy. I am a fan. They were only $1.99 and they weren't even on sale. That was just the regular price. These are from Taiwan. They're called Strawberry Moki. I think that's how you pronounce it, but they're kind of like a soft cookie. They sort of look like peaches or something. I don't know, they look good. There's like marshmallow filling in the middle. I'm not really sure exactly what this is. Check out this fancy box here. These are white cream wafers with hazelnut. All right, let's open this up. All right, there's a little perforated tab here. I do suspect these will also be individually wrapped. There's just something about this candy. Yep, what did I tell you? All individually packaged. I'm still at the chocolate shake candy, but we're gonna open up something else because I'm really hungry and I need a sugar rush right now. I mean, I haven't eaten all day, guys. I deserve this. This is me time after all, this is me time. Don't these look super fancy, like candies out of the 1950s or something? I feel like I just went to a, an old fashioned candy shop, but I really just went to Zion Market. Okay. These are really tasty. You totally get the vanilla flavor. 
and some hazelnut. They're really, oh, they're very rich. All right, I think it's time to head home, but I want to say a special thank you to Zion Market for sponsoring this episode of Gen Talks Forever. If you're in Duluth, definitely stop by this location. You won't be disappointed. And if you live in California, there are several stores there as well. I'll list all the information down below in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Gen Talks Forever for more videos just like this.